Hello, Grand Gamers. <clears throat> Hopefully you can hear me. <laughs> Welcome in. Let's talk about Grants. You ready? I hope so. I had some homework. I finished a little early. And I figured I can come on and talk to y'all if you want to chat. I did mention on our last live that I may go live again today to make up for us being rudely interrupted at the library um, and me kind of having to cut our live a little bit short this morning. So here I am with about an hour or so to hang out with you guys <clears throat> and answer your questions about grants. So come in, say hello. If you can hear me, like this live, please. Just click like, uh, click hearts, tap your screen, etc. Y'all know how this goes, right? Um, and let's talk about grants. Let's kind of pick up where we left off. Y'all ready? Let me first make sure you can hear me. Say hello as you come into the room. Let me know you can hear me. And welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, winner of over $1 million in grants and grant funded opportunities. I'm excited to share what I know with you. Hello, Aretha Davis. How are you? Y'all come on in. Tell me about your business. What is your business that you're trying to get a grant for? Let me know in the chat really quick. I am setting up an email to send later. thought I was finished with this, but I kind of need to keep my flow. So, tell me about your business. Let's talk grants. I'm here for you. Um, make sure you follow this page. Um, so you can get notifications when I'm live. I usually go live on our regular schedule is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, but when I have extra time, I hang out with y'all as well. So put your business in the chat. Let's chat. I love a good conversation. I love a quick response. Um, I know we're on a bit of a delay, but if you're multitasking, stop it. Come in here and talk to me. Okay. Miss Half Dollar 50 Cent says she's a home aid assistant that's your business is this like your agency or are you working with an agency let me know um shiny penty i love it one shiny penny says she does accounting and tax i love it tasha 77 i'm saying 77 on a lot of names does that have a meaning here on tiktok let me know um but she does corporate housing i love that i've always wondered about that like how it works and everything. They look fancy from what I see on TV. Who else here is a black woman with a business? This is for black women, for-profit, small business owners. And so let me know about your business that you're looking for grants for. Hello, Queen. It's my business. I teach medical. Okay, get it. That sounds nice. All right, Miss Successful. She teaches medical insurance, billing, and coding. Sound like there's some change in that. So tell me in the chat, now that I know what you do, those of you who are hanging out with us, what do you need a grant for in your business? The business that you just put in the chat, tell me about. Tell me how you could use a grant. Make your responses quick so I can keep up, so we can share some tips. I got some jewels to jump in here with and uh, fill in the blank from our earlier live. You're looking to hire more employees. Got it, got it. How many employees do you want to hire? Part-time, full-time, freelance, independent contractors? Let me know more. Tasha says funding purposes. Tasha, that means nothing. That is not the answer to the question I'm asking. My question is, because this is on every grant application, what do you need a grant for? If you put funding purposes, they're going to lay your application to the side and move on. They're not going to read further into that. So get specific and let me know. Shiny Penny needs six employees. Three full-time, three part-time. Love it. <clears throat> Anybody else want to tell me what they need a grant for? Be specific so I can help you. Help me. Help yourself. Okay, cool. Tasha needs a grant for furnishing her property. See how much clearer that is than funding purposes. <laughs> Loving it. Um, anybody else want to tell me what they need a grant for? Let's chat. <laughs> what 
we got to be clear because th- keep in mind, I'm here with y'all live. But when you submit a small business grant application, it's just them and what you've written. And if it's not easy to understand, they're going to give you a failing grade. Grants literally grade your small business grant application. If it's a really good, legit grant opportunity and not a scam, they have what's known as a rubric. And a rubric is to tell them how your application follows their eligibility criteria. And so one of the areas they grade you on from the rubric, you get 30 points out of 100 if your business is clear, if they understand how you're going to use the fund, and if it aligns with what they're looking to give the money to. I like that. So you need three computers and two printers. Do you know the names of the computers? Is it a Mac? Is it a Windows? Do you know the model? Because sometimes you'll have to get that specific. So y'all let me know and then we'll move on to the next question. What I'm doing is asking you frequently asked questions from really good grant applications that start at about $50,000 and go up. So if you're being generic... Um, you may not be ready for these types of answers. You may want to apply for like a $250 grant, a $500 grant, etc. But these are $50,000 view questions. And a lot of these questions are on a lot of these applications that you're going to see if you start taking grants seriously and really applying on behalf of your business to get this fund. Sharon Pitts has a food truck. Sharon, what could you use a grant for? Y'all let me know in the chat. I am paying attention. Um, looking at Epson. Good. Um, Eco Tanks. Got is is the Eco Tank the one where you refill your own cartridge? What's that one? Says so you also have one. It's great. Printers, Konica. Yep. So you need the industrial size printers. The like printer printers. The like office corporate printers. Not what I got in my home office that I really never use. Even though I pay fifty dollars for color and black ink from target amen (laughs) so and it helps to know this because this is going to help you with the next question i'm going to ask you guys so if you're just joining us say hey especially if you're new i'm dr aj austin i've won over a million dollars in grants and grant funded opportunities and so there are tricks to winning this game we call grants yes it's a game there are winners there are losers there's also secret language that you have to make sure is in your applications and that starts with getting specific on what we call your grant application strategy and so we're building out your strategy so that as you go and find grant opportunities to apply for for your black woman-owned for-profit small business you know where to start so these are questions you already have to have prepared to make your application stand out okay this makes it to where you won't get as many any rejections as others get okay when you come in with a plan and a strategy Sharon says I need a grant to start a small business what small business would you like to start Sharon let me know oh you put food truck sorry that was your comment and then Sharon tell me what you need a grant for for the food truck shiny penny says yes you refill got it I thought so I thought that was that yes I need commercial industrial printers so you see how specific you have to get Because I immediately went to something I bought offline for like 50 bucks versus something you need that might be 5,000. You see what I'm saying? So it helps to get specific as to what you need. Not just printers, but commercial industrial printers. You see how we're getting clearer and clearer on this application strategy? So if you were to go to apply for a grant today, you could just ace these questions, knock them out the box because you've thought through them clearly. And I can see a grant review committee understanding Your needs are more expensive than the average Joe, okay? Somebody who does it from their home or um, we have a lot of notaries that pop in here on our lives and they have like the to-go printers and it ain't an industrial. You can't fit that in a car, right? So you said tax packages are huge. I know. And see, because I only print mine from home when my accountant finishes, I know nothing about having six employers or six employees plus you and doing it on a corporate level so you have to help us understand like we're not in this industry because we're not so when i say get specific i ain't trying to be funny i'm really trying to help you guys meet the grant guidelines they want the details like spill the tea sis hello growing angels welcome back good to see you hello yo diva you were with us earlier welcome back you said you need a building 
not specific enough what kind of building is it for classrooms is it commercial resident like what you gonna do with the building coffee makers what kind keurig what's the fancy one they got nespresso come on do you need the ones like the ones i see people be trying to be starbucks they be paying eight hundred dollars a thousand dollars ovens what kind of ovens i just had my light bulbs replaced on my oven in the kitchen and i couldn't figure it out the maintenance guy couldn't figure it out so we just stood there and talked while he figured it out he did what he was getting paid to do refrigerators what kind of refrigerators industrial residential let me know art supplies what kind of art supplies paper what kind of paper what kind of ink what kind of printer what kind of color pencils i found some beautiful color pencils at family dollar the other day girl of all places i love me a good ghetto experience at family dollars i'll be feeling like a baller honey so anyway me and my color pencils have been having added in this journal and it really helps i go in and color stuff and i found some pretty highlighters there too back to school ain't no joke and so now all my notes are color coded. I can easily find them and they stand out to me. So anyway, that makes me happy. Shiny Penny says, oh, you're going to have a coloring cafe. How cute. Help us to know more because we've never heard of that. So you got to act like we don't know what you're talking about because we don't. So explain it in detail. Okay. Shiny Penny says, not sure how you got on my FYP, but glad you came across my top. But I'm glad you're here as well. I'm happy to help. Um, over at blackwomeningrants.com, I have a year-long mentorship program where this is what we do. We help you come up with your grant application strategy and give you the secret sauce to being successful at applying for these grants, finding these grants, standing out on these applications, and winning money. Some of our winners are going to pop in here, I'm sure, when they see we're live. TikTok sends out the invitations if you follow the page and turn your notifications on. Um, but they have won over $191,000 combined just this year using some of these strategies that I'm sharing with you. So if you want to come join us, we got a scholarship there. It's over at blackwomeningrants.com. And it's first come, first serve to get the scholarship um, for only $97. Bucks. You get to come join us for a whole year versus the $997 that many have paid. I'm sitting here typing up homework now for those who have paid this regular price to uh, get my help, get my brain on their grant application. So, hopefully this is helping. Don't that sound interesting? A, a color cafe? That's so cute. Loving it. Okay. So, yes, we need more details on the color cafe. You are so welcome. Um, Growing Angel says, I missed you earlier. Had a full house today, but I'm glad I was... Exactly. I have about an hour before I have to go hop on a call with my coach. And so, um, I was doing some homework and then I finished early. I think then as soon as I jumped on here with y'all, I saw some more I could have been doing, but anyway, here we are. <laughs> so let's chat. If y'all have questions about anything I share, go ahead and put it in the chat. I am happy to chat with you and let you know my answers to your questions about grants. Um, Yo, Diva, I do adult coloring every Saturday to teach people to meditate through coloring, planning to open, and I think TikTok uh, keeps you off. So here's what we're doing. For those of you who have just joined us, welcome. I'm Dr. AJ Austin, creator of BlackWomenInGrants.com, winner of over $1 million in grants and grant-funded opportunities, mentor to women who have won a combined $191,000 this year in grants and grant-funded opportunities alone. And I'm here to help you. So we're walking through what we call your grant application strategy. In the chat, you're saying hello, especially if it's your first time here. You're telling me about your business, that business you can see winning a grant for. And you're also telling me what you would use a grant for in your business, but you're getting really pacific like the ocean, okay? Make sure you're super clear as to what you would use this funding for because that's what a grant is going to want to know, okay? So, just heads up, seven up. Um, are there any questions about anything we've shared so far? Go ahead and place them in the chat if you would like. If you need clarity on anything, let me know. Um, and for those of you who are already in our mentorship, if you have questions about anything in the program, anything in the book, or anything on a grant application you're about to submit, now is your time to get coaching. Um, I'm thinking about... If we can do this smoothly, bring in one of my mentees on if you guys have a question um, about the program, etc. So, we'll see if we have time for that. 
Growing Angel says, if I wanted to open a daycare charter school in Barbados, is there any international grants? I'm not sure. I was just listening to a call from my um, nonprofit grant writer, Mastermind Sisters. They do international grants. I'm not sure about Barbados. That's why we say this page here, Black Women in Grants, is for black women with for-profit small businesses. As long as you're in the United States and over the age of 18, then you're in the right place. And your business probably is eligible for the grants that we have on our list over at blackwomenandgrants.com. We share this list every month. We just got our new list last week. And it's full of $1.2 million in grants and grant-funded opportunities that when their applications open, you can simply go apply if your business is eligible. So there are about 80 different funding opportunities on just one list. <coughs> so it's really, really cool for those who qualify <coughs> excuse me anybody else want to put what business they have what they need a grant for we're about to move on to our next grant application question put next if you're ready to answer the next question I have for y'all put next in the chat <coughs> excuse me okay excuse me I'm finishing up some cantaloupe the first question is our usual questions grow angels what do you do and what could you use the grant for? Now we're about to get to the fun part. How much in grant funding can you use? Like if I was to hand you a blank check and said you can write it for any amount. Or like T.I. say you can have whatever you like. How much would you fill in the blank on that check for? It doesn't matter. The sky is the limit. Money's no object. It's not your money, so you don't have to worry about hurting my pockets. I'm the grant check writer. How much do you need, sis? Fill in the blank and put your total in the chat right now. That is a very specific number, Shiny Penny. <laughs> she said $275,450. Come on, numbers. We know who the accountant, the mathematician, the math this math thing. Anybody else want to throw their number out there? <laughs> Three hundred thousand five hundred. Sorry, y'all. Um, I forgot I set a timer. I thought I turned it off, but I did not. You're telling me my homework time has been complete. Three hundred thousand. <laughs> Said you've done the math already. You're focused on this like a laser. I can tell, girl. Five million two hundred and seventy-five thousand. Anybody else want to throw their number out there? Okay. So really quick, let me stress you out. The number that you put in the chat, multiply that times 10 and put that new number in the chat for me real quick. Let me see what your math is mathing on real quick. What is your new number? Put it in the chat. Don't be scared now. Get them calculators out. Don't do the math in your head, please. Do it on the calculator. We trust it. <laughs> and let me know what that new number is, sis. 2,754,500. I am proud of myself for making it through that. Woo. Um, okay, your times 10 is 5 million. Got it, got it. Anybody else did the calculations? Y'all letting our accountant blow you out the water, okay? She says she already done the numbers, honey. Ask me anything. <laughs> what is your number times 10? I do not see the same amount of answers that I saw when I'm letting y'all fill out this blank check from my bank account. Multiply these numbers and put it in the chat. Y'all better say some. Hello? <laughs> 
Three mil. Got it. Got it. Anybody else? Let me tell you what this number represents. Put the word grant goals in the chat. Grant goal. The first person to put it wins. All right, Alicia, shiny penny one. Okay. Grant goal, that new number with all those commas and all those zeros that y'all boldly put in, that's the amount in applications that you need to have out there right now. Y'all stressed out yet? Put stressed or a funny stressed emoji if I just stressed you out with that. Growing angels need 5 million in applications out there. Alicia needs 3 million in applications out there. Shiny Penny needs $2,754,500 in applications out there. Miss Half Dollar 50 Cent needs $2,750,000 in applications. Y'all see how this works? Mm hmm. Right. It's making sense. Let me tell you where I get that number from. So, the first number you put is what you want to win. The second number you put is your application amount. The reason that this works like this is because when I teach you what I know in our mentorship, you learn what we call the 10-10-10 formula. Our ladies in my mentorship has um, a win rate of 10%, which is phenomenal in the grant space, especially if you're new to it. So what that means is I've taught them how I've won over a million dollars. They go and apply the formula. They win one in 10 grants they apply to, which is phenomenal because it could be zero. They really have a higher rate than that, but you start out at 10%. So that's where we get the multiply it by 10. So that means that for every 10 grants you apply to, you have the opportunity to do what Brother Denzel Washington say, you're leaving here with something, okay? It's a very good chance that you can win more than one in 10, but a lot of people like to know their odds coming in. So the more applications you have out there, the greater your chance of winning that first number that you told me you want. But now that you got your grant goal, you're like, if I at least have $3,005,000 in grant applications out there, I could win my original 300,000 plus some. Y'all got it? Put got it. In the chat if you got it if this is helping make sense the math is mathing it's clicking you might be stressed out you might be a little nervous your palm is sweating your heart beating a little fast but you got it you like whoo my work is cut out for me at least I know what to do so if you're just joining the conversation so far we've talked about what you do in your business we've talked about what you can use a grant for and now you're telling me what your grant goal is with that 10x number the math is mathing, right? <laughs> and so, let me see what else I want to know. What do y'all want to know at this point? I want to give you a minute to breathe, catch your breath, and regroup and ask me a question. So, what's spinning in your brain right now about that mega number that you just put in the chat that you probably didn't know coming in? Like, wait a minute, what? Because some people think the first grant you apply to, you're going to win. You could. If you know the secret sauce that I teach in the mentorship program, but for the most part, the people that join us are people who have tried this process by themselves, keep getting rejected, or those who have just found out about grants and wondering, does it really work? Either way, you're scratching your head in confusion. What do I need to do to win? Everybody wants to win, but there's a strategy behind it, and that's what we're going through right now. What questions do you have for me about what I just shared with you? Somebody ask me a question and we can move on. Let me know. I'm over here munching on um cantaloupe. <laughs> Do grants cost when you apply to them? They could. Some grants do have application fees, but how we look at it is, um, let me, I just took a um, picture of a check that a grant sent me. I'm sharing it in a class I got coming up. 
I paid, I think, $25 or $35 to apply for that grant, but I want $1,500. So would that be worth it to you in exchange for an application fee? Once you find out, you know, it's a legit grant um, and there's a chance for you to win. Let me know. Shiny Penny says, do you teach how to figure out if a grant is worth applying to? What we teach is what we call read, research, and review. It's a three-step uh, framework that when you look at the grants we share with you, you know how to go to their site. You know how to read what the grant is about. Read their terms and conditions, their official rules. Research the winners of that grant. If they've awarded businesses similar to yours or if you can be the first one and review the guidelines as well as the application plus that scoring rubric that I told you about, you know, they're grading your application on. So that's ultimately how you know if a grant is worth applying to your business has to qualify to be eligible. For example, Ashley Rankin has won. Um, she's in our mentorship program and she has won uh, $29,000. She won $24,000 over the last 30 days. It just kept flowing in. She won a $10,000 grant from the L'Oreal Inclusive Beauty Grant. She won a $5,000 grant from, I can't even remember where it came from. She won another $5,000 from someone who saw her applying and wanted to match. We call that a grant match. They wanted to match her winnings. And then um, she won another $5,000 from a grant that hasn't been announced yet. And so, or the winners haven't been announced yet. And so I share that because in that last grant she won, I just looked up the qualifications. They were looking for a hundred people to give $5,000 to. That's $500,000 they had to give away. She was one of the hundred. In the L'Oreal grant, she was one of 40. They were looking for 40 businesses in the beauty industry to give $10,000 to. That's $400,000 in grants. And so... Um, also the last grant that she won, well, the most recent we'll say that she won, it was very specific, be a for-profit business, be based in the United States, have a product. And, um, that was pretty much it. You had to, I think she sent a video. She's applied to over half a million dollars in grants. So I'm really lost on her numbers, but she knows them. And if she was here, she would <laughs> help me get it right. Um, and so that's how you know it's a fit. Like, oh, I meet all of these qualifications. It's worth me applying to. So yes, it's a thing that you keep in the back of your mind before you even start filling out an application. Um, the problem with a lot of women not winning grants is because they do what we call spray and pray. They find some grants, they just apply, and they got their fingers, toes, and eyes crossed hoping they win. But they're not even eligible. So they're applying for the wrong types of grants. And so that's what I want to ask y'all next. Um, there are two phases that a grant looks for your business to be in. One is the startup phase where you really haven't gotten out there. Your idea mostly is still in your head. So you definitely haven't launched and haven't made money. That's called a startup and you need a startup grant. Who here is in the startup phase? Put startup in the chat. If you haven't really put it out there, you haven't really made money, put startup in the chat because you need what's known as a startup grant. And then the second phase, and there are only two, there's no in between, there's no either or. Granted, going to say, choose ye this day, one or the other. Amen. The second one is for those of you who have started. Put started in the chat. If you've started your business, you've put it out there, you've made money, there are people who have used your product or service, you have receipts of those payments, you can get testimonials from your people customers or clients, whether they um, are written testimonials, video testimonials. Um, if a grant asks for your taxes, you got the taxes, you got your profit and loss statement. Um, you got things like your business bank account and your employer identification number and your articles of incorporation. All of that is established. Again, you're either startup or you're started. If you're started, you need what's known as a growth grant. And growth grants are allowed to... are um, to allow you to grow a little bit further than you've been able to get yourself. So either put startup if you're startup or started if you've started. Alicia says, how long did it take you to understand this and make girl? 
Thank you for asking. I feel like seen right now. <laughs> that made my heart warm. So I have won over a million dollars in grants and grant funded opportunities. So I've been winning since I was nine years old and CNN came out to my neighborhood in the projects and put me on television from winning my first $78. Uh, okay. I was in the local newspaper. So from nine to now a million dollars, right? Everything from housing to school to anything you can think of. I have won it. Okay. Now I'm in the professional space. So I came to this space, graduated to this space in 2020 during COVID where everybody was in the house, board, board in the house. And a friend of mine sent me a list of grants and I didn't know much about the pers uh, professional space. I know about the personal side. And so I applied and I won my first grant during COVID. They were looking for 20 people to give $1,000 to. And I was number 17 out of 20. I could be number 20 and I was going to take that check. Okay. Um, so I won a thousand, got addicted, and here we are all this time later, um, totaling almost six figures in funding by myself, having applied to over half a million in grants and grant funded opportunities. And so it took me in the professional space from 2020 until today, okay, <laughs> to learn just some of this stuff. I know so much now. When I jump on these lives, I share a little nugget with you guys. I put everything I know, or at least everything I knew up until my most recent win of $1,500 plus $12,000 in prizes. I put it all in a book called Finding Funding, and it's in our mentorship program over at blackwomeningrants.com. And what I realized was that there are 25 secrets to winning funding, including being able to answer questions that are not even on the grant application. So you can get your hands on the book. It's over at blackwomeningrants.com when you come join us in the mentorship. And it's only $97 to join us for a full year, one-time payment, year-long access, okay? So if you want to know what's in my brain and what I've spilled out on paper and put in videos and audios, we got an app that'll read the book to you. Um, I've shared it with the ladies who have won Deanna joy. She's in our mentorship. She has won $76,000 so far. She read my book three times and went and won that she's now a million dollar finalist in a million dollar grant right now. Like it's phenomenal. Ashley Rankin, who I told y'all about recently has won $29,000 in grants and grant funded opportunities. She just won her most recent 24,000 within the last 30 days. She worked it like it was a job. She has over half a million dollars in applications out there. And she's going to keep winning because all of those applications are out there. So that's her grant goal. Y'all get to see this in action. And I interviewed Ashley. I interviewed Deanna Joy about their wins of tens of thousands of dollars and how you can follow in their footsteps and win too. And Ashley created a grant tracking worksheet for us in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. And it's her way of giving back to the community, showing the grants that she's applied to that you can go apply to as well. So she makes the search even better, even easier, even quicker for those of you who are laser focused and want to take this serious about finding these grants, applying for these grants, making sure you're eligible, using the secrets we teach you and go out and get this money. Y'all ready? Put ready in the chat if you're ready. Yo Diva says, the more you apply, the better your chances of winning. Yes, and. So the more you apply, the better your chances of winning. You increase your odds. But also, as long as your applications are getting better with every application, you're increasing your chances of winning. So it's one thing to apply. It's a whole nother to get approved. Two totally different things. You can apply all you want, but that doesn't mean you're going to win. But when you improve your grant application strategy, when your application gets stronger, like Ashley's has um, over the last 90 days, I mean, she is blowing everybody out of the water with these video applications that grants are asking you to, you know, put um, videos with your written submissions and essays. And she is running with the best of them, winning funding just off of the stories she tells, the information she includes, and it's all using what I teach in the mentorship. So. Yes, the more you apply, the better your chances, but make sure that application is getting better and better every time. And you can only do that when you know what to look for. There are techniques that you could use to make your application better 
every time you apply. And that's what you should be doing. Getting better and better and better. Okay. Thank y'all for the questions. I see a lot of startups are with us. Um, we got some people that have started. You're welcome. Um, you can put any other questions you have in the chat. And um, let me know if you guys need help. My coach is emailing me. <laughs> like, we got a meeting in 40 minutes, 50 minutes. So I'm going to hang out with y'all for just a few more minutes. And then I'm going to go make sure I'm prepared for her call. Um, so I see y'all said y'all ready to start applying for these opportunities. We did part one of reasons not to apply for grants earlier today. Um, I have four reasons out of 11 left. So if y'all want me to tell you, that's what we were just about to get into. Shiny Penny, you in the spirit girl, put the number four in the chat. If you want me to break down the reasons um, why you shouldn't apply for a grant. These are our last four out of 11 that we started talking about today. And the good news is when you join us in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com, you get a copy of the replay from today and all other 250 episodes. I've been right here with you guys on TikTok talking about grants. So this was a heavy subject, kind of hard to hear if you're in a certain position in your business. So especially you startups, y'all listen up. If you're trying to apply for a grant or use the grant to pay your bills next month, don't apply. It takes a minimum of 90 days. So if you got a bill that was due yesterday, child, you in trouble. Amen? Put amen if you agree. That's what that means. I agree. <laughs> you in trouble. So make sure that you're not coming from a financially desperate place trying to apply for grants. Make sure, I just heard one of my mentors say, grants, uh, make sure your business is not 100% grant funded. Because grant funded at 100% equals failure. Because no grant is guaranteed. Put guaranteed in the chat if you got it. Y'all got it? Only see two people. Hello. Where y'all at? So understand no grant is guaranteed. You don't want your business to be 100% funded by grants. This is a business, so you should be making money or should have your money-making plan um, that you're getting ready to put into place, even if you're a startup. If you don't have the time to consistently apply for grants, don't start applying. You're going to be disappointed if you try to go apply for grants, not really knowing what you're doing, not knowing what you're getting into, not really even believing or knowing if you could win, not really understanding their rules and restrictions. And if you even qualify or you're eligible, you're going to get discouraged. You're going to give up. You're going to get rejected. You're going to wonder if you're doing it right. You're going to wonder if this is a scam and if this can even really work for you. So if you don't have the time to consistently apply, don't start applying for grants. Y'all got it? Put got it. We only halfway through. I got two more to drop on y'all and then I'll take more questions and we'll wrap up. Let me know you got it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You said how often is consistent. When do you need the money by? When do you need to hit that $275,450? Exactly. So, by January, which is, what's today? August, September, October, November, December. We got four months left before you have to hit your goal, right? Consistent can look like daily because there are grants available right now that you can go read, research, and review. Make sure you qualify and apply to. Consistent can look like monthly because there are grants that come out every month. There are quarterly grants, there are semi-annual grants, and there are annual grants. So consistency is up to you. 
You can apply for as many grants as you want at the same time, meaning you submit one application and go apply for another. You can win multiple grants, just like Ashley's doing. I mentioned she just won $24,000 in grants and grant-funded opportunities in the last 30 days. That means that all those applications she has out there in that $451,000, they're coming in back to back to back. We call that grant stacking. It's um, what's known as grant hacking as well. So stacking is when you win over and over, when you apply over and over. And hacking, that's the hack. Keep applying. And so consistent could look like what is your urgency to meet that goal date of Q1 2025, which is January, right? If I'm if my math is math and you got four months. And so what I did as well was buckle down for 30 days and every day for 30 days, I submitted an application for a grant. I had tabs upon tabs pulled up on my laptop <clears throat> of grants I knew I qualified for. And I spent 30 days for a full month and just got it in. I was burnt out at the end. I took a six-month break. But at the end of the day, that's when the decisions start coming in. By the time you get tired and ready to take a nap, you get a congratulations email. You get a decision email. You get a check. And it's like, oh, okay, I got to go do this again. So I like to do it, get it out of the way so that it's not like, oh, Lord, I got to go apply for another grant. It's like, no, I've dedicated this time. Ashley did the same thing. She set aside 40 hours a week for 90 days, three months, 12 weeks. You know, the probationary period of like a corporate job, right? You know how they put you on probation for 90 days to see if it's a fit. She dedicated that time to just applying for grants. Over those 90 days, she won $24,000. That's $8,000 extra dollars a month. And if she keeps winning at that rate, she's on track for six figures in funding by this time next year at $8,000 plus a month. Y'all see how this works? That's how the math maths. That's how you hit your grant goals. That's how you get that original amount that you said you want. That's how you stay consistent. Does that make sense? Y'all got it? Put an emoji in the chat if you got it. Put something fun and cute. Make me giggle. We're about to wrap up in just a few minutes. I wanted to um, share the opportunity for someone to grab a scholarship to come join us over at blackwomenengrants.com in our year-long mentorship program for only $97. Whose is it? Y'all tell me who's claiming that spot. Mind blown. <laughs> blackwomenengrants.com. That's where my book is. You can only get it. In the mentorship, that is our um, curriculum that we use to help guide you through the foundations of what a grant is, how to find and apply for these opportunities. I got templates in there for my own grant answers. And I got um, actually an application that was approved recently in the book as well, along with an app that will read the book to you. We talk about how to use AI to apply for these grant opportunities and you got to know what you're doing. Um, and there are other master classes that walk you through step by step through stuff we don't have time to dig into, like how to spot a grant scam and the difference between nonprofit and for profit grants and what grants should not be used for what businesses do not qualify for a grant no matter what. Yes. There are categories of forbidden businesses, businesses that are forbidden to apply for grants in the United States of America. So we cover all of that and so much more, plus interviewing those who have won grants. And then, as I mentioned, I've been here with y'all since May 2023, right here on TikTok Live, three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for what we call Grant Prep Academy or GPA. And so we're answering all of your questions. Um, there's 250 episodes that I've done. It's more than that, but that's where I stopped counting. Um, and you can get to go back to the beginning and hear all the nuggets that I've dropped right here on TikTok that you've missed out on because we just now met. Where you been? What other questions can I answer for you guys? Again, the website is blackwomenengrants.com to grab that $97 scholarship spot. It is first come, first serve. So... You can't say we didn't have this conversation. Do I provide grant writing services? No, that's for nonprofits. We don't write grants. We apply to grants, and I teach you how to do that on your own behalf, girl. You don't need me to do it for you. I'm over here 
Trying to do it for me, child. I'll be tired too. Shiny Penny says, thanks for your time. Time is the most valuable gift you can give. Amen. What other questions do you guys have? Were there any ahas, any takeaways, anything that you've learned that you didn't know? Let me know. Talk to me real quick before we go. And if you're over at blackwomeningrants.com getting your scholarship spot and you need my help getting logged into the program portal, let me know. I'm happy to help you out before I go. You said I learned I need to get to applying. You also learned what type of grants you should be applying to. You learned why you shouldn't be applying. Um, if you ain't got the right mindset, per se, per se. You also learned how to put together your grant application strategy. You learned how to have your application stand out by having this strategy ready. You learned that there is help and a community to hold your hand as you go and take that leap. You learned that this is something you should not be trying to do on your own, um, especially if you've never done it before. It's different if you've applied and won a grant before. You're kind of familiar, but things change in between wins. And um, even though you've won, there are some things you can do to keep winning. And so my job is to educate you on that, refresh your memory on that, give you some new techniques. Um, I'm trying to see. Make sure you're just in the space of being willing to invest the time and yes, money necessary to learn how to apply for the right grants, grants that you're actually eligible for being a black woman, for-profit, small business owner. But one thing you don't want to find yourself doing is just finding grants. You actually want to start applying, getting those applications in that are already out there. But we um, find grants that are off the beaten path, uh, meaning there's not a whole lot of overwhelming competition. These are grants that select multiple winners, so it makes easy uh, winning easier, especially if you have a standout application. And so you're finding and applying and winning grants that are set aside specifically for you as a black woman, for-profit, small business owner. So hopefully that helps to encourage you guys, those of you who are on your grant finding journey. Would love to have you in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com. Hello, Joyce. How are you? Welcome. We are wrapping up, but if you got a question you want to throw out there real quick, let me see if I can answer it, girl. Yo, Diva says, thanks for sharing your knowledge. I'm a sponge. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Same. Um, Face Paint Charlotte says, I am on this journey now. Welcome to the journey, girl. Shiny Penny says, I'm getting my spot now. First come, first serve. I ain't going to say nothing. I love the people that uh they be sneaking and signing up and don't be saying nothing, honey. Days like, I ain't going to make no announcement. I'm going to just go get my spot. And so, um yeah. Oh, y'all, I'm tired. I have been up all day. I got up early, had some errands to run, came back home, had to go back out. But I did get finished early, so I'm proud of myself. Took a shower, cut my hair. Sitting here with conditioner in my head. I have been out in public with this white stuff in my head. I do not care today, okay? I still look cute. Feel fresh. Try not to get bit by mosquitoes. Got sunscreen on. All that good stuff. So in a few minutes, I'm about to jump on the call with my coach. I ain't no telling how long we're going to be talking. I missed my nap today. I'm just like telling y'all all the tea. You're welcome. Welcome to my world. And we still got grants to apply for. Come on. <laughs> Uh, you say, thank you. How do I sign up for the scholarship? Go to blackwomeningrants.com and hurry because somebody about to beat you, girl. www.blackwomeningrants.com blackwomeningrants.com is the site. Blackwomeningrants.com. Hallelujah. That's our jingle. Any final questions before I go? Let me know back hurting i need to eat <laughs> just going through it over here <laughs> still showing up that's what i love about myself so all hearts and minds clear y'all let me know now if it's a question you're like i just say it for next time you're gonna forget <clears throat> 
before I go, make me feel good. Tell me one thing you learned today. Some of y'all told me a little bit earlier, but I need to know from somebody else. What did you learn? Even if you haven't been here the whole time, that's okay. Tell me what you learned today. <laughs> what y'all got for me? One thing that you can recall that you learned on today. Let me know. And then we'll wrap up. So go claim your scholarship over at blackwomeningrants.com if that's what you're doing. Um, Machiavelli lady says, thanks for your information. You're welcome. Thank you for being here. Face Paint says she learned to be consistent and make the... There you go. I like that last part of your takeaway. She said, make the time. What Smokey Mama say on Friday? Make it work. <laughs> so make it work. Do what I just did. Set aside time. I set a timer. I got my work done. I jumped on here with y'all. Ashley did the same thing. Matter of fact, if you join us, when you join us in the mentorship over at blackwomeningrants.com today, you're going to hear an interview Ashley Rankin, one of our recent grant winners, did. She said for the 40 hours a week for three months that she did, she was making time for like 15 minutes here and there, 15 minutes here and there, 15 minutes here and there. And I was like, that adds up. So just with that dedicated time, now she has over $451,000 in applications out there. So she's superseded her application amount. She's won $29,000 and she's going to keep winning. I can't wait to hear more about these winnings from y'all, from her, from the future mentor or mentees that join us in the mentorship. Get that scholarship. It is available. Don't ask me. When it goes away, can I hold it to fry? Uh-uh. It's there now. There's Klarna. There's Afterpay. There's Affirm. There's Clear. You can click all those buttons and see what you can work out payment arrangement-wise on that $97, okay? You said you learned about me and my program. That's your takeaway. Good! The more knows, the merrier. If you know anyone who could use this, share our page with them so maybe they can come join us in a future live. I'm glad y'all were here. I'm glad I had an extra hour where I made time and dedicated it to come and chat with y'all. I feel better. I can sleep good. Um, I didn't take a nap, but this was worth it. <laughs> Thank y'all for hanging out and getting your grant questions answered. Those of you who are joining me in the mentorship today... I am available by email to answer any questions you have about the program. Make sure you put this on your calendar, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I do remind you of that in your welcome packet for the mentorship. Um, to be here with us live, to get some coaching, to get um, your questions answered. If you're stuck on a grant application question, you can bring that here. And I'm happy to help. All right, guys, that's all I got. Again, thank y'all for being here with me, listening to me smack on my cantaloupe, all of my coffin, <laughs> and everything that comes with being me. You're welcome. Until we meet again, my friends, you guys have a phenomenal rest of your day, and I will see you soon. God bless. Bye, future grant winners. <laughs>